The big earning news for Monday morning definitely was everybody waiting to hear what BlackRock did. BlackRock, one of the largest investment firms ever, all time. These guys manage in the trillions of dollars with assets under management. Earnings per share came in at 524. It missed by a bit. I mean, it missed by 14 cents, I think, something like that. It was, it was a miss. And the revenues came in at 3 billion, just under 3 billion, missing by 30 million. It was a small miss on the revenues, but it was a relatively large miss on the EPS, which was like 14 cents or 13 cents, something like that, when they came in at 524. Now, coming into 524 is still 10% up year over year. And you got to think, they've done 275 million in buybacks in the last quarter. They, they know what they're doing. And they found that their operating margins are flat. They haven't gone up. So we noticed last week, Citigroup and um, JP Morgan Chase, they were all having operating margins increase on them year over year. BlackRock's not having that issue at all. So investment banking, clearly keeping its uh, inflation rate down as opposed to retail banking. So uh, on, the, on the other side, they've noticed their net uh, long-term net income go up $94 billion, but a good majority of that is through ETFs. Now, BlackRock's obviously known for their iShares. They're, they are an ETF company, but a lot of those ETFs, they're not bringing in large profit margins. So while BlackRock is bringing in lots of assets under management, $94 billion. Those aren't turning over the 2 3% that some other funds that people might be invested in might otherwise do. So BlackRock's earnings were slightly mixed. They still sound obviously quite strong. Their price to book is a little high, but their price to earnings, their trailing price to earnings still looks pretty good. BlackRock's a solid company. This is a well-run investment machine. This company knows what they're doing. They definitely set a lot of trends uh, in the world, anything BlackRock does, everybody take no takes notice of. So this is a lot like what we were talking about last week when we were talking about Berkshire Hathaway and how much uh, um, impact or uh, influence somebody like uh, Warren Buffett would have. I would say the guys over at BlackRock do a lot of the same stuff. You know, like they really do move the needle in the market. So an earnings per share miss like this, it definitely does resonate a little bit, but overall... I think everything looks still pretty strong over at BlackRock.